In this problem it says, this is a two-dimensional version of the conservation of momentum problem. So we have to keep track of both the x and the y components of the momentum of each object in the system. So it says, two chunks of ice sliding on the surface of a frictionless frozen pond. Um, a chunk A with a mass of 5 kilograms with initial velocity of 2 meters per second parallel to the x-axis. Then it collides with a chunk B that has the mass of 3 kilos and is initially at rest. After a collision, the velocity of A is found to be the final velocity equals uh, 1 meters per second in a direction at an angle of uh, 3 degrees with the initial direction. The question is what is the final velocity of B, both magnitude and direction? So here's a little picture representing the, the question. And we have the object A that would slide until a point reach uh, the object B, and then they will collide, and A is going to go in the upper direction, and B is going to go in the down direction. The angle that it makes uh, for the object A is going to be 30 degrees as it goes up. But we don't know what was the angle for the object uh, so first we have the we got the x components uh, in the x direction we add them up and we say that the mass of the object a times the velocity plus the mass of the object b times the velocity is one component and that's going to be before the collision after the collision we have the mass of the object A and the velocity times the x component in this case is going to be cosine of 30 which is the angle given that's going to be added up to the mass B times the velocity the final velocity of B in the x direction I just raised the first I mean the second part because it's the same as this it's only supposed to be this is 5 times 1 times cosine of 30 plus 3 times what we're trying to find bv f in the x direction so we also know that the sum of the x component is the same before and after a collision because the momentum is conserved that means that we can equal uh, both values to each other so in the first case up here we got the 10 kilograms and the other one we got what's written here as we saw for the final velocity of object B in the x direction, we end up with 1.89 meters per second. So in the y direction, before the collision, neither object A or B has a value for the velocity. That means that nothing's going on, so that's going to be zero. After a collision though, we can uh, find the y component. We can say that the mass tends the velocity times sine of 30 which is the y component we can add it up to the 3 kilograms of the other object times its final velocity what we're trying to solve so we can set up uh, before the collision equal to after the collision the y components so we can say zero is going to be 5 times sine of 30 plus 3 times final velocity in the y direction then we will have a value of negative 0 0.83 meters per second now to find the magnitude and the direction uh, of the velocity we do have to use the x and the y component so what we do is we do the square root of the x component square plus the y component square and that should give us a positive value for the magnitude of 2.1 but to find the direction it's really simple at the beginning we didn't know the value of uh, beta the angle beta for the b object that is going downwards so what we can do is do the inverse of the tangent and then we plug it in, in the calculator in parentheses the y component over the x component and that should give us a value of negative 24 degrees which makes sense to be negative because as shown in the picture, the direction is downwards.